and I like what the prophet says to her he says that you have a little bit of oil left and he says verse 3 then he said go borrow vessels from everywhere go borrow vessels now we read that sometimes you're like yeah great go borrow vessels but think about it what was her problem what was this woman's problem her problem was that her husband did some borrowing and couldn't pay back so the reason why she's in this place now the reason why her kids are being actually auctioned off right now for labor is because her husband did some borrowing and it backfired and the prophet tells her this now he says go borrow again in fact a lot imagine the fears that start surfacing again imagine the memories that come back yeah i remember when we borrowed we went to that bank we went to those people we went to those people and he says go to your neighbors go to your friends go to the same people and borrow more now many of us in here we understand how borrowing works many pretty much probably everybody here has some kind of a debt that we live in you know whether it's mortgage or the purse that you came with or the shoes that you have or the phone that's in on payments or the tv or the dog so some of us everything we have is on payments that's the culture we live in and um, borrowing for her symbolized a very painful experience borrowing for her meant what some for some of your marriages it's a place of pain it's a place of disappointment for her borrowing is for for some people it is to get pregnant because they had miscarriage it's a place of fear it's for her borrowing is for what some people starting something new is you it's a place where you failed it's a place where things did not work out what I want to let you know today is when you walk with Holy Spirit he's not going to cater to your fears he's gonna challenge you to face him Holy Spirit doesn't play babysitting with us he doesn't want to produce within us a glorified babies he builds within us soldiers and one of the first things he will do is he will encourage you strengthen you to face your fears that your second marriage won't be like the first one he will challenge your fears that you will not die like somebody in your family died at the age of 40 from that cancer he will challenge your fears and he will say that just because that thing failed it doesn't mean this thing will fail he will challenge your fears Israel that just because Pharaoh is coming back it doesn't mean you're going back to the slavery the Pharaoh you see today you see no more <laughs> Noah when the clouds gather together and it looks like another flood is coming I will bring you a rainbow to remind you what happened before is not going to repeat again the flood of yesterday will not repeat in your future see God wants us to know God wants us to challenge our fears that if we've been failed if we've experienced exp hurt or pain that we're afraid to trust we're afraid to risk we're afraid to jump again and say Lord I just want to be calculated and cautious with the Holy Spirit you will be challenged to challenge your fears somebody say amen Jesus came first time on earth they crucified him second time is coming ain't gonna be like that he's not coming in as a baby he's coming as a king he's not coming people to be mocking spitting plucking his beard he's coming on a horse and no he's not going to be coming by himself with just 12 disciples from Galilee he's going to be coming with an army of saints actually you and I are going to be there he's not going to come and ask do you want to follow me he says I am the king this is my territory bow he's going to come like a boss what does that mean Jesus is not afraid to come back fearing same thing will happen the first time and that's why you should never be afraid to go into a new situation with the Holy Spirit fearing same thing will happen as it happened before it's not gonna happen to your Savior I believe it's not gonna happen to you I believe you can challenge your fears I believe you can stand today and tell the devil listen get behind me devil why I have a promise from God I'm not alone I am with the Holy Ghost he is on my side and this failure is not gonna repeat in my life this failure will not define my life it will refine me but it won't define me because I'm a child of most high God somebody give God some praise right now if you are not paralyzed by your failure give God some praise your divorce doesn't define you give God some praise your sickness doesn't define you give God some praise right now come on somebody hallelujah touch your neighbor say face your fear touch your neighbor say you may feel it 
but you gotta fight it. Thank you for watching this content. I hope this was a blessing to you. If you're like me and you like to click on things, click on this, subscribe to our channel, and the content will come to you every time we post it. And remember, the best is yet to come.